the Monday nighter, the Browns versus the Jets. As you mentioned, a lot of optimism going into the yes. season with the Browns, but uh, they did, were not able to deliver in week one. And after scoring a couple of field goals, these guys want a touchdown, and it might come here. Chubb! Chubb! And he gets into the end zone for a touchdown. 20-yard wow. run by Nick Chubb. What balance. Second place, too. Um, Chubb, yeah, I mean, I think Chubb will get the ball at some point, so providing he gets you know, even a reception or 10 points, they will have another bingo, even if it's uh, a very small one. That would be for 1.1 times 3. So uh, I'm not looking at a lot of additional points, but uh, I think when you're dealing with this type of fantasy, there's any points you kind of want to take. So I'm looking for like a 90-yard... Oh, that's exactly what we needed right there. Oh my god, did I, did I just call it? Did I just Beckham call that? Going did I just all what? the way. Oh my gosh. Odell Beckham Jr. Wow. With a huge touchdown reception. Y'all saw it here. I just <laughs> called that. That does not happen. Wow. What a play that is to huge. OBJ. That is going to change the boards dramatically for a lot of people, ourselves included. On that play. Okay, so okay, so after those three bingos, we have gone from a score of 92 to a score of 162 points. That is absurd. That is like three bingos. Oh my gosh, wow. All right, let's take a look at the leaderboard now because <coughs> that is obviously going to affect it uh, drastically. But G034, who we mentioned before, was in the same position. If Beckham uh, and and Mayfield had made the connection, because obviously they're in the corners, but they would have had three di or they would have had two diagonals, and then the one vertical with Bell and Chubbs. And Valencia is in a, is in third place with a score of 140.7. And Geo34, who was in first place before, with a score of 139.1. Nick Chubb or Beckham gets them a bingo. Actually, Beckham gets them two bingos with Anderson. That would be a huge one because Anderson has nine points. Whistle blows. And that's going to be our ball game as the Cleveland Browns go on to a 23-3 victory on Monday Night Football. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, that bumps us up to sixth place overall at the finish. So, uh, yeah, Shum, 190.4. G. Dare, one, two, three, four, second place with a score of 174.2. Freedom and came in for third with 168.5. Geo 34 with uh, 168.1 in fourth place. And Valencia 167.6 in fifth place. And we are sitting comfortably in sixth place with 165.4. Boom, that's it. So from all of us here at Ranking Ball, I just want to thank you for joining us and we want to congratulate the winners and don't forget to check back at your points at rankingball.com and your mobile applications to see your scores. Check your uh, your winnings and your prizes and stuff like that. Uh, final thoughts on the game? Well, uh, it was unfortunate that uh, Darnold didn't play. It was more unfortunate that uh, Trevor Simeon got knocked out. But uh, regardless, it was a fun game to watch uh, regardless. And, uh, yeah, we've got a good game there. And I can't wait to see next week's game. Cool. So from all of us here, check back on all your scores. And don't forget to join us for Beat the Streamer. If you want to challenge me directly, come back, uh, I believe, Wednesday night, 8.15. It's the Houston Astros, Texas Rangers. Uh, set up your boards now. Get that uh, time stamp points um, to make sure that if somebody else has the same board as you, that you get the points ahead of them. So check back for that, and that will be all.